Good morning, friends, family, and fellow apocalypse survivors. Today, we're making a cake. Now, this particular cake I'm making is uh, <clears throat> definitely time consuming. <laughs> it's definitely time consuming. So, I've actually uh, prepared several steps in advance. I've already greased and floured my pans. I have cut up the uh, maraschino cherries. And um, I've already done a lot of the sugar work for the decorations. Um, that's extremely time consuming. So I did the sculpting of the um, sugar flowers <clears throat> in advance. So that said, Oh, what kind of cake are we making? We are making a maraschino cherry layer cake with pistachio icing. And hopefully by the time it's done, we'll have it decorated um, in kind of a garden theme. So what we're doing um, at the moment is, um, you can see behind me, I have lots of, things already out. I am starting with a basic um, cake mix, it's a white cake mix. And the reason I'm starting with the mix is um, simplicity, just makes it easy. Ah, and there's my oven. poured my cake mix uh, into the bowl and this is actually going to be important now because for added flavoring I'm actually using um, store brand gelatin dessert <clears throat> for flavor and color so I'm just taking one pack of cherry flavored gelatin dessert mix and just dumping it in with my flour. So the next thing, the um, actual um, directions on the box called for is our egg whites. And then it also um, asks us for a, I believe it's a quarter cup of oil, right, and a cup of water. So what I'm doing with the water, I actually left enough room so that we can take some of our maraschino cherry liquid. A little bit of our maraschino liquid to make up the different in our water volume so that we have a cup of water with some maraschino in there. And set that right. Now I believe the instructions here actually tell us to water eggs. Yeah, we're gonna actually just go ahead and mix it all together. I'm going to put in my little hand mixer because we're going to start with a 30 second uh, low speed. So let's get our water in here. And then I'm actually adding also some um, cut up maraschino cherries. I uh, took about seven cherries and I just cut them with a knife. I got frustrated and ended up just <clears throat> pulling them apart with my fingers. But, you know, whatever. It got the job done, right? So, mix that up a little bit. Now, I'm not going to 
Simmons treatment plan. I think we all know how to um, take that um, a prepared mix. So I'm going to follow those instructions and we'll be back shortly. Just kidding. Guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to add our quarter cup of oil. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I can just keep the bottle open. Um, how this stuff works. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add that. Okay, so we're back. I added the oil, did our uh, mix on medium speed for two minutes, and now we're ready to pour our batter into the pan. I don't know if you can see this beautiful pink color. I can't wait to see what it looks like when the cake is done. It's so much fun. So, as you all know, we'll just pour our batter into a cake pan, spread it out evenly. As I'm <clears throat> making a layer cake, we are actually pouring it into two pans. And then, according to our cake mix directions, this should bake for about 26 to 30 minutes. We'll see how that works out. So we'll get this done and we'll see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so now our cake's in the oven and I've done the bulk of my cleanup, which I like to do as I go. So I'll, um, you know, sometimes you'll see that I'll take a break from filming and run over to the sink and, and run water in something or just grab a sponge and clean up if something spilled. So I do like to clean as I go. It keeps the process more efficient. Um, but while our cake's in the oven, I thought I would talk about the process a little bit. So um, I am using a cake mix, as I said, at the beginning, it's easier, and during these times, I found flour may not be available at the grocery store. I couldn't get flour, but I could get muffin mix, cake mix, <clears throat> um, all kinds of mix, cookie dough, brownies, but a plain bag of flour was a little tougher to find. So I went with a mix and I did go with a plain white, what is that calling it? Wicked white cake mix. I just bought the store brand because it's what they had. But um, the reason we're using a white cake mix as opposed to a yellow or um, other is because of the cherry flavor and the gelatin that I used. We want to keep that. Oh, look at that. I got fun. I had cake mix on myself. <laughs> I'll be right back. So we did get the uh, white cake because of the added ingredients. I wanted the color to really um, show up. And if I went with the yellow cake, um, the yellow obviously the pink would not have would not be as pink and have the the cherry color I don't really know how it's gonna work out in the end we'll see what color the cake actually ends up being but that was the reasoning behind choosing the white cake and that's also why we used egg whites instead of a whole egg because the yolk makes it a yellow cake so we separated the eggs out to have our white cake that we made delightfully cherry pink and that's why I had cake batter all over myself. I did have to taste test the batter um, and it has lots of flavors. So I'm looking forward to how this turns out. Um, I did use a regular um, vegetable cooking oil. You can use olive oil or other um, healthier oils, um, coconut, um, 
almond oil, and there's a lot of options out there. I did use just regular plain old vegetable oil. Again, during these times, we get what we can get. And so that's what I got. <laughs> and um, anyway, so the next time I see you, we should have our cakes out of the oven and cooled and ready to prep for icing. So I will see you all a little bit later today and we'll have some more fun. And um, unlike using a cake mix, I will be making the icing from scratch largely because the way I'm going to flavor the icing uh, really isn't conducive to using a prepackaged prepared icing. So <clears throat> this is going to be an adventure. So I hope you all stick around and enjoy this um, crazy cake ride with me. See you after a while. Okay, so we're back. Um, the cakes are cool and we're getting ready to start our icing. I don't know if you can see here the beautiful color on this cake. It's a really pretty red. So I'm going to set that back over here and we're ready to get started on our icing. Okay, so I wasn't going to show this part. Um, I was going to pre-do this, but I'll go ahead and do it. We're actually taking Crisco. Our icing recipe is a cup of shortening and a half a cup of butter. And um, the reason I'm using shortening is I live in Arizona and um, the shortening just holds up better, but the butter you know, we need a little bit of that um, smooth, creamy butter flavor for the buttercream icing. So um, we just fill our measuring cup full and kind of pack it down. And there we go. Then we will also be using five cups, yes, you heard me, five, it's a lot of sugar, of powdered sugar. Okay, we'll have our powdered sugar. And then the other thing we need is a pack of pistachio pudding mix. I got four grams. And as you probably already know, vanilla extract. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and scoop all of that shortening right back out into our mixing bowl. I don't know why I'm going to switch to using pearls. I guess I'm just trying to include you, my friends, in the process. Because it isn't just me. The whole idea is connection, right? Okay. So now, now I'll add the butter. And I just grabbed a couple of sticks out of the freezer earlier today and set them on the counter to thaw. And then once, <clears throat> once we get the butter in, we'll go ahead and add our vanilla extract. I'm just going to use two tablespoons. One, 
Uh, maybe a tablespoon and a half is good. So, go ahead. Once the mix are in, While we're letting that mix, yes, it's a little loud. Okay. The idea there is to just soften that up. Sorry, it was a little loud. Hmm. I'll do that in a moment. Oh, but wow. That's going. I'm dumping the powder, uh, the powdered pudding mix, into my sugar. And I'm going to start using pistachio because this is how I'm flavoring my ice cream. So, now we got our sugar and, and all our dry ingredients in here. I want my pretty soft green. So I will be back in a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed in with the butter that we've just softened up. And I'll be back to show you the finished icing. And then we can start to decorate the fun part. Okay, hey, here we are. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a nice, fluffy, light green icing. And we're just about ready for the actual putting on, I'm putting it on the cake. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and take some of the icing out and put it into a smaller bowl. For the for the basic layer of icing, and I'm trying to say something that's just probably adding some blue color in there for a change. So oh, I can't wait to dig in. So let's get the cake. Okay, so I've applied a layer of icing on the top of the bottom layer, and now <clears throat> you'll see it wasn't um, completely smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's the inside layer. Uh, now I'm going to actually pipe a border. This will help keep our jelly in place and keep it from squishing out between the middle of the two layers. And I did notice when I was taking the cake out of the pan, uh, cake is a little spongy which I expected could happen from um, using the gelatin. So we, we know that adding, um, <clears throat> adding components can sometimes change the texture. So it's not as light and fluffy as I'd hoped, but that was a risk I took. It's spongy. Uh, Almost like a, almost like the texture of the um, of shortcake. Like for when you have strawberry shortcake, the little um, cake things. It's kind of that texture. So that doesn't bother me at all. 
And I did get these beautiful cherry preserves. I haven't opened the jar yet. And that's okay because I also didn't have a spoon to get it out with. So I'm gonna take some big spoonfuls of these cherry preserves. <clears throat> you can see what we're doing here. I'm just gonna kind of spread it around over the top. Our pistachio icing. Not too thick because, again, we don't want it to uh, squish out the middle. But we definitely want, <clears throat> want to get the flavor. So we've got a layer of icing, a layer of um, cherry preserves. And now it's time to get the other layer of the cake. Okay, so I have <clears throat> flipped the top layer onto the bottom layer. And it's time to do the entire the base layer of icing over the entire cake. Okay, so <clears throat> I actually ran into a couple complications, but at least it's been fun. I did more than just the basic layer of icing. I did more than just the uh, basic foundation layer of icing. I went ahead and iced the whole thing and piped the trim. However, <clears throat> note for future reference, when making an icing that has nuts, they, the little pieces tend to clog the piping tips, making the project far more difficult. <laughs> so, that's why I went ahead and did it. It didn't go quite the way I'd planned, but it's, it's okay. So it's all about the, the sugar work anyway, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start. <clears throat> um, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my flowers. Can you see them? And see where this gets us. So anyway, you can't see that, can you? Let's go ahead and start adding some flowers. Just tuck them right into the icing directly. I've got some leaves here. Well, Stick some of those in. I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I will be back to show you the finished for a little while because it's kind of warm in here. As I said, I do live in Arizona. So I want to keep the cake cool and let the icing stiffen back up a little bit. So um, again, thanks for joining me. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. So we are <clears throat> finished with the cake. Complete rose garden. You can 
can see I've got some flowers and leaves all the way around. A few icing mishaps, but what the heck. It's here we are. It was fun. Thank you for joining me. I'm ready to dig into this sugar bomb uh, extravaganza. So um, I will post the cookie, um, everything I used, and let me know what you think. If you try this recipe, let me know how it works out for you. Maybe you have better luck with the icing than I did. I don't know, but this is what we did today, and it was fun. So thank you for joining me. I hope everybody is still staying safe, healthy, and connected. Um, it, it's real important during this time. So have a fantastic evening, because this did take me all day. Uh, have a fantastic evening, and I will see you next time.